Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So uh, this video, we're going to take a look at a rare place that I scored. Uh, probably maybe the best vintage find I've gotten so far. Let's take a look at the Power Lords Vulcan Rock playset. So welcome into my channel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more great 80s, 90s toy collecting videos, nostalgic videos, things of that nature. Yeah, uh, I've been hitting the auctions, online auctions hard, uh, trying to find toys for obviously for my collection, but I also do reselling. I have another channel, uh, Radical Reseller, where I do focus more on the, the, the reselling part, eBay selling. So this thing came up. I've been looking at Power Lords before, uh, passed up on a few auctions before the toy line doesn't seem to be like the most exciting to me but then whenever this thing came up on auction i knew exactly what it was um and of course as you're gonna see in the video i have the it came in with the box too so but uh this toy is not easy to come by and uh i feel pretty spoiled honestly uh, because I'm starting my collecting of Power Lords with, I guess, the grail piece of the set, um, which is this. This set is awesome, though, so, I mean, like, it makes me want to collect Power Lords for sure. And I also, I need to finish this set. There's a few pieces missing. But we're going to go over all that. So let's check it out. All right, so here are the parts that I received with this set that were in the box. So I've identified that, obviously, these are clearly part of the set. There's the lava, lava pieces, there's the mechanics for the elevator. Um, so I have the elevator platform, it's got the satellite dish, I got the outside uh, ro uh, swinging platform. This is the elevator shaft, it's broken, so that's an, a piece that's missing, so I can't make the elevator complete. I got the ladder pieces, which I bet those are ones that are come up missing quite often. I got the uh, computer screen. I've got the other little uh, mechanical lever computer screen thing. I'll have to see if that works properly. Uh, I think this is a blaster. Maybe goes on this turret. One of the things is broken. All right. And I got some other turret pieces. Oh, here was another blaster right here. I know I'm missing the big lava piece that goes actually on top of this port. Here's the top lava port and the uh, bridge pieces. And so that leaves me with these pieces over here, which I'm I'm unsure about these two pieces, but I don't think they go with the set. And I know and I'm pretty sure this doesn't go with the set. This is like a, some kind of battery cover. So that could be worth good money. And these, I'm not sure about this, but these pieces right here, one, two, three, four, are from the vintage, I think the vintage 1979 Millennium Falcon. So that could be, I think that's about $100 worth of parts right there, just just anyways. And then here's some little vintage little desk piece that was in there. So I'm sure about those and these right here. I think they don't go with the set though. So this is what I got to work with. And of course the the main set itself had all the, out, all the doors, the swinging door here. Um, the decals are intact inside. That's nice. There's the decal intact. Unfortunately, these doors, all these doors are inverted. They're like not on the right. They're not set up to come out. I got to be very careful to make sure and get those popped out the right way. This door comes open. This door is the same. It's stuck inside. So I got to be real careful. So looking at the other side, yeah, the decals and everything are intact. You can't afford to disturb these decals for sure because there is no replacements uh, out there. But these decals are in really nice shape and everything. So a pretty incredible set. Oh, uh, and then we'll look at the box. So another insane thing about this, this auction win is the fact that it came with its original box. So here we, we have it, the Ravel Power Lords Vulcan Rock. Secret stronghold of extraterrestrial power. So there is. And these pictures are kind of like what I'm going off of to try to figure out what I have for the playset. I think I'm not missing too many pieces, actually. Um, 
So there's a picture showing all the play, the play action features. The bridges go on the side. They have little spots on the platforms for them to hook on. That's kind of nice. That's better than Castle Grayskull, honestly. Vulcan Rock opens to reveal hidden escape doors, activating trap door, mysterious elevator, concealed laser cannons, space bridge, two space ladders, simulated computer modules, concealed weapons rack, high-tech TV screens over 20 inches high, opens to 20 inches wide. So here's a cool front box shot of the of the playset. I can imagine this being an awesome playset for not just Power Lords. Um, but just to display any other kind of figure line that didn't have a, a proper playset. All right, here's the back of the box. We've got, uh, instead of red ink, we got blue ink showing uh, all the different Power Lords you can get. Adam Power, Shia, Skydot, Arcus. I wish I had some Power Lords to demonstrate, but I don't. Power ship. That thing looks complicated too. Trigor. There's the 1982 Join the Power Lords fan club. Rebel. There's the Vulcan Rock advertising its own playset on the back of its of the playset. <laughs> Secret stronghold of extraterrestrial power opens and locks. Comes completely with secret. Secret trap doors, hatches, elevators, laboratory consoles, ladders, and bridge. And we got Grip Tog over here and Ragoth. Here's the top box art. We got the Power Lords logo there. And then it features showing uh, showing off the playset. Uh, And then here's the side art and then the top and bottom are, are, are actually matching the same artwork and then both sides match except for one side has the barcode the upc barcode on it number 2513 so pretty cool to have a copy of the box just to see it okay it was very scary but i've managed to get these things popped back out to where they open the proper way but boy that's scary um, the problem with this place that I'm noticing is the doors don't really secure very well so like these ones always keep falling open there's really not a good mechanism to to it just kind of like stay rests in its hole to stay there so if you give it a little bit of what or jolting or whatever it'll just come open but well, that's okay. Obviously, something like this is not going to be played with. This is going to be displayed. Yeah, same with this one. I, I managed to get that one popped out. And I don't know if this is a damage on the door. Probably. But, hey, it is what it is. There's a few other holes in this thing. I don't know if they were supposed to be like that. We'll have to see how the playset develops whenever I put it together. But now I got all the doors Whoops, at least functioning. And you see there's the hinges that connect the castle together. Kind of scary too. I managed to carefully get those in there. And then it does have a little locking clips here. So I guess I'm going to do my best to assemble it with the parts I have and see where we're at with this thing. All right. I got it cleaned up. Uh, all this stuff here I could wash because there was no decals. Then the stuff with the decals I just went over with a Q-tip. Most of this stuff here was not dirty anyways. The elevator had a little grime. It's still not perfect, but definitely don't want to mess with those decals. Um, I think I'm going to... I am going to hang on to this for now. I think I want to do my toy reviews with this thing in the backdrop. I think it's be pretty cool. I need to set up my... I need to fix my toy review. Get up. Uh, if somebody, maybe if the right price comes along, I will sell it, but I think I'm going to instead work on trying to, uh, complete it. So I cleaned this as best as I could. I could wash parts of it without 
making sure not to interfere with the decal and then I got in there and scrubbed that. It still needs a little bit more work, but it's pretty good. And then after it's dried here, the top surfaces had some like, uh, oh, like water spot look to them. It didn't look very good. So I put a very, very light coat of Vaseline on there and polished it in uh, same on this ledge. And I think it looks really good. Hopefully that doesn't hurt anything. I don't think it does. I think Vaseline is unacceptable. Oil, if you will. <laughs> Maybe I should do the whole thing, but nah, I don't want to, I don't want to do anything. I'm just going to go over the cracks with a Q-tip if I see any more dust on it. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Now let's get it back assembled and display it with some figures and see what this thing is all about. Okay, that's much better now. Got it all cleaned up. So here's what I got. I got a complete blaster set over here, I think. Everything's complete here. This door is the what the secret weapons rack door, but but it has a broken little handle. I've got a nice secret uh, tur rotating door. Uh, this is the broken blaster. It's missing the the cap. I think the, there should be another piece that caps off there So in theory if I could just get that piece now I really don't it doesn't really matter that one of those prongs is broken. I think it would still be okay But that's broken. Otherwise this door system is nice. Uh, I Got a complete bridge. I got the complete uh, Trap outside trap ledge uh, I'm missing the ledge that goes here. I think some of the play feature is you're supposed to be able to, if you want to, put the bridge, I think, here to here, a ledge that goes here. I'm pretty sure. There's definitely something that goes there. I've got all my little lava pieces for this side. That's good. Uh, this door is nice. There's a lot of doors on this thing. Uh, I've got one pe lava piece here, but I'm missing one here and here. I've got the antenna but this antenna kind of makes me wonder is there's like a notch there it makes me think that there's something else that's supposed to go there too so i don't know if maybe there's something else that's missing there i've got my portal my uh, volcano i guess you could say but i'm missing the big lava cover piece that goes on top of it all right looking at it from the other side i've got my on this level i've got uh i guess everything i've got my uh little secret uh, outside uh, ledge drop computer panel with all the decals. Uh, so I got the platform itself, um, the correct ladder for this side. Um, the elevator, I've got the elevator workings here, I think. I think I have the complete assembly to work the elevator. I got the missing, you know, broken elevator shaft that's missing, half of the shaft is gone. Uh, I've got a nice elevator. It's platform itself with a nice decal. Uh, and the decals were in place and I didn't, uh, I successfully didn't uh, mess them up. So we got that side. Then on this side, um, I got the platform itself. Now there were, I'm seeing pictures or I saw somewhere where there are actually very thin little decals that go along these steps to like red, more lava. So I, of note, those aren't there. I can see why. I could I could imagine somebody not even affixing those. They're like, so that's such a delicate work. So um, I've got a good computer panel here, and I'm missing my trap door though. Uh, so I went ahead and removed the mechanism. It looks like I got a nice complete mechanism. I hope that's all there is to it, but I don't have the door to figure out how it's supposed to work. I've got all my decal placement in here, looks good. Um, and I've got the, a pro, the other style ladder that goes on this side. Oh, and then I have a complete bridge system that I guess you're supposed to be able to do it wherever you want to. I've seen in the commercial, actually let's roll the commercial. Our Lord's distance rescue warriors. This is Volcan Rock. You can imagine Arcus, the evil dictator, fights Adam Power to control the galaxy. Lustery ready. You have to put Volcan Rock together. Volcan Rock, Adam Power, and Arcus, each sold separately. I'll change Adam Power to Lord Power, leader of the Lords. I'll take the Jewel of Power. Take a trip, Arcus.
Folk and Rock, Adam Power and Arcus from the Power Lords Collection, each sold separately. You from Ravel. So in that commercial, they actually separate the playset and uh, use the bridge to. So this thing has a lot of play features. Um, so this playset is pretty massive. I don't feel like getting out Castle Grayskull and comparing, but I'm pretty sure it's 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 slightly bigger for sure, at the very least. So, this coming out after Castle Grayskull, I'm pretty sure um, what I can see Ravel did is they said let's take the action features that Castle Grayskull featured and do that times two. <laughs> so you've got doors, entranceways. Let's do that each one times two, actually more than that, because there's one, two, three entrances, actually three entrances and two little portholes for the blasters. So a total of five interactive little entrances in theory. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about the, the port on the top. So six, the, the lava entry. So, all right. So Castle Grayskull has a blaster. Well, this has two blasters. Castle Grayskull has an elevator. Oh, well, let's have an elevator that not only goes to the second floor, but can actually go all the way up through the roof. Castle Grayskull has trap door free falls. Oh, well, let's do that times two. Castle Grayskull comes with a ladder. Oh, well, this one comes with two ladders. Well, they didn't double up the weapons rack at least, but it does have the weapons rack. No combat trainer, but... Uh, it's got other stuff. <laughs> Ultimately, what you got is a, a pretty neat place that set that, uh, you know, too bad it wasn't more widely, so, you know, popular and sold, I guess, because uh, it's a great additional play set for that. I don't know. It doesn't necessarily have to be for Power Lords, in my opinion. You can just use it for whatever toy line you want to use it for because it's kind of... It is kind of, you know, generic looking, I suppose, you know, with just the plain black and it looks awesome. I guess if there's some cons in comparison to Castle Grayskull again, I mean, Castle Grayskull, of course, is iconic and it has the face of that unrecognizable Castle Grayskull face. This one, this place that doesn't have the jaw bridge, but it at least has the little uh, sneaky door. It's pretty cool. Two different entryways. Um, there is the trap door room, but there is no, you know, iconic, uh, throne room like kind of like like castle grayskull but it, it's still there at least i do like this little steps piece right there though uh and then whenever the figure falls down i mean there's not not much there but that's obviously they can't ca copy everything um and then this elevator I'll, i like the idea that it goes all the way to the top i wish i could test it i need to find that part eventually but uh, I can imagine it would be hard to keep a figure stabilized on there and actually let it actually ride a figure up there without it falling over. The elevator on Castle Grayskull, you could prop the figure up, uh, you know, on the side of the of the elevator, um, so it wouldn't fall over. Right? This doesn't have that. However, uh, maybe this mechanism works pretty good to where this is a pretty smooth ride. But I can't test that right now. So I could already tell that would probably be a problem right here because there's nothing for the figure to lean up against to ensure that it won't fall over on the way when it's traveling up here or, or to the top. But if it could ride all the way, I'm sure it would be really a really awesome play feature to have a figure rise up through this the mouth of this volcano here. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.